Bro, I got a lot to say after this, y'all. And when we done, I make them buy me ball, man. I'm on some dumb. Stop out of way. What'd he say? He can tell I ain't missing no meals. Come through and fuck him in my automobile. Let him eat it with his grills. He keeps telling me to chill. He keeps telling me it's real that he love my sex appeal. He said he don't like I'm bony. He wants something he can grab. So I pull up in the Jag made weather with the jab. Like dun 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 guys it's girls so me back with another video and today guys we're back with yet again another reaction video not just any reaction video though all american you know what i'm saying time to relieve our thoughts and our opinions on this episode and it's been a hot minute since i did a video to all american about how i felt about you know the episode and you know just my input on each scene and whatnot but i'm back with it you know what i'm saying i had to catch up because i was falling behind i haven't watched all Americans, so I was kind of finding a little bit behind but now that I'm somewhat caught up best believe we got we got some stuff to get off our chest you know what I'm saying but before we get into the video don't forget to like comment subscribe for more of my videos road to 600 we're going to get there y'all already know what the goal is come on now like we don't do this you know what I'm saying and um without further ado let's get into the video hey guys before we watch the video I forgot to tell you guys the video is all American Episode 3, I mean, episode 12, season 3, Layla helps Olivia on her podcast. Now, if you all American fan, you already know what this scene is. But, um, without further ado, I mean, why am I saying that? You know what, this is it. You know what, we're just going to get to the video. So, yes, here we go. Hi, everyone. I'm Layla Keating, and I'm filling in for Olivia Baker just for today. She wanted me to read you something. I learned a tough lesson today. Not everyone's fighting. Bro, I got a lot to say after this, y'all. I'm a scream in the streets, burn the house down type of warrior, which is why I released the footage I stole from my mother's computer. That's right. She didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. While I don't regret releasing the video, I mm -hmm. do regret hurting someone who was fighting the social justice fight in her own different Right. Crazy, bro. I can't sit by and listen to people questioning my mother's integrity or commitment to real reform because they couldn't be more wrong. I couldn't have been more wrong. Yes, my mother is the DA. And don't get it twisted. I'm not defending the system. My mother was and is using her seat to challenge the status quo. And she was. That's it. Like. The right side. <sighs> trying to balance the I gotta say so much after this, bro. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm glad the scene got cut short because there's more. There's a lot more that happened in that episode, but this scene was something that stood out to me, and I feel like my point on something should be on this. So let's start out with this. Olivia releasing the video in the first place was, first of all, irresponsible and inconsiderate. I understand the feeling of like you know what I'm saying justice should be done and something has to happen release the footage but your mom was getting justice for Tamika without the footage being out you know what I'm saying she was getting justice now yes releasing the footage is like sticking it to the cops like yeah now we know who did it we know what happened but now it took everything like if you watch the episode now the trial is going to go in a whole different direction. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe when the video wasn't out, those that were in the case seen the video and was like, okay, we were kind of remorseful. So like she said, like the, like the lady told Olivia, there was going to be people that her mom had that was going to go on trial and, you know, take in and speak. But now the video out, they're like, man, I'm not doing none of that because you, 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 you didn't keep your ending up to the bargain. What if that was her ending of the bargain to keep the video hostage so for you to be so sneaky and just go behind your mother which nearly could cost her her job like that's not okay it wasn't okay at all to me and regardless of her sticking up for what she believed in like i said i love olivia but that alone that actually just wasn't right it was impulsive thinking there was no thought process to go with it you know what i'm saying you just thought like oh your mom's not doing anything she just wants to hold the video like but you didn't think of why and then you wanted to say why did she tell me all this stuff you didn't think of why 
her job. There's been multiple uh, incidents where there's been something that you want to know or Coop or anybody wants to know when it comes to their mother and they don't understand her job. She's not supposed to, you know, give out this information. It's supposed to be within herself, within the job. No one, not an outsider, they're not supposed to know. You know what I'm saying? It's literally like breaking the law. That's just like if you're a lawyer and you be like, oh, I wanna know about this case. You're not allowed to, bro. You're not allowed to. You can't just go in your your parents' file cabinet and research and look at people file. Like they could get, they could go to jail for stuff like that, bro. They could lose their job. Like that's not okay. That was not okay. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it's just showing that they're fighting. So at least Olivia, you know, is fighting her fight, and I and I commend her for apologizing to her mother because her mother was going through a lot this episode like no one talks about it but they put their mom through a lot and she's still there with the rehab and jordan being married and they just put her through a lot and they always try to treat her like she's the enemy when she's just trying to do what she thinks is best you know what i'm saying so commend i commend their mother because she doesn't get enough she doesn't get enough for how they be treating her at the time um, but yeah, that's just my thoughts and my opinions on what Olivia did. Like I said, regardless of, you know, how right it seemed, it was still very much wrong as well. Um, and yeah, that's just really my thoughts and my opinions. Let me know your guys' thoughts and your opinions on this and this episode as a whole, how you guys felt about everything that happened. By the way, before I close out, let's just talk about how Olivia and Layla are somehow mending their friendship, I guess, a little bit. Um, like I know what Olivia did, and yes, I'm gonna say what she did because Spencer kissed her and she didn't tell Layla. She let, like, when they first got back, I don't know how long that time frame was, it probably was a week or two, three weeks. Let a week, two, three weeks go past without even talking to Layla about it, and that's supposed to be her friend. But Despite the Spencer thing, the fact that they're still trying to stick by each other, like there's more important things, you know what I'm saying? You're still my friends in the, the day. That's stuff I like to see, really. That's stuff I like to see. But um, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and your opinions on this video and this episode as a whole, how you guys felt about everything else that happened throughout this whole episode. I liked the episode, like I said. There was just minor things that I was just like, what? Like, excuse me? You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get you guys for the next video. Bye.